All right, so let's get started with meal number one. These are super easy, budget-friendly veggie cups. My son also loves these. They're only about 20 minutes of prep and they taste amazing. I was just giving you guys a little overview of the ingredients I personally used here. But like with all my recipes, they're super customizable just based on your family's preference or whatever you personally like. Um, I am vegetarian, as you guys know, so I'm gonna be using a vegetarian sausage. Uh, but go ahead and put chicken or ground beef or whatever you like. I was basically just spraying a muffin tin and then cutting up some bell peppers here. Again, totally customizable if you wanna throw cheese in there, any type of veggies that you want. Uh, before you start all this, you do wanna preheat the oven to 400. And then what I like to do is put the heavier items into the muffin tin first. So any type of veggies or anything a little bit heavier you wanna put at the bottom. So I was starting off with the peppers and then I also wanted to add in some micros so I just put a little bit of spinach because that wilts down and it's just a really great easy way to get in your micronutrients. Here is the Franken, what's it called, Franken burgers or something? I'll leave the brand name down below but it's a vegetarian sausage that I find at Albertsons in the vegan section like right by the tofu. It's incredible, it actually tastes pretty close to real meat, it's like scary how good it tastes. And then what I'm doing here is just filling up about a quarter cup of egg whites in each tray. You wanna be careful because these do rise, so do not fill this all the way to the top if you don't wanna have any overflow. So then when the oven is ready to go, oh, no, girl, get it together. Before we put it in the oven, obviously we wanna season. The everything but the bagel seasoning is from Trader Joe's, and then the other one is just black pepper and Himalayan salt for taste, which I think just tastes incredible. So I just put a little bit in each one. Again, I'm only making six here because I don't want them to go bad. And because we do have egg whites in there, I recommend that you eat these within about two to three days of making them just so they taste the best possible. So I always put it on the top oven rack for about 20 minutes. And as you can see here, they do rise a little bit. Some of the sausage or the meat or the protein of your choice may rise up a little bit and like kind of fall out of the cups, but they tasted incredible. I'm super lucky that my son also likes them. And it's a really easy, quick meal that I can just remake every single week. All the ingredients are really affordable. So moving on here, I also like to kind of prep my post-workout protein and supplements because you guys know I'm on a cut. I've been going to the gym six days a week. It's absolutely imperative that I get my protein and my branched chain amino acids in for recovery after my workout. So I always take one scoop of Formula One post-workout protein after every workout. It also includes five grams of branched chain amino acids in there. I mix it with half a scoop of ignition, which helps to decrease your recovery time and replenish the glycogen that you've depleted during your workout. And I also throw in a dash of glutamine. So basically I put all three of those in little plastic baggies. I do about five bags, five or six bags for the week. That way it's just kind of like prepped up, ready to go, and I can throw it in my workout bag. What I've been really liking to do lately is just take one of these on the go and I'll actually take my FitMix Pro blender bottle with me to the gym. This is super cool. So you don't have to use like a big blender or like plug it in. It's actually electronic. So as you can see, um, the little black piece inside, this blends up your shake for you. All you do is press the button. It's super, super cool. I'm such a nerd for like these cool tech gadgets. So I'm showing you here, you don't wanna put any ice in there, but you just wanna put your liquid items or your protein powder, your glutamine, your BCAAs. As you can see here, you just dump a scoop in and then you'll put the lid on top. There's also some protein storage up at the top, which is cool. Press the button and it literally blends for you. Like, is anyone else like geek out about this stuff? It's so cool. It just recharges with a little USB cord. You don't have to do any mess or any crazy cleanup from like a big blender that can get super dirty. You can just take it with you on the go. I literally take this with me when I drop off my son at school in the morning and I head right to the gym. It's super cool. So they hooked it up with a 40% off coupon for you guys. I'll have that in the description box. Definitely check it out. Super affordable and such a cool invention. All right, so moving on to some mason jar prep. I found this really cool salad recipe from Pinterest, which I am back into loving and so obsessed with lately. So many cool meal ideas on there. Uh, but basically for this, all we're doing is making a salad. We're putting it in mason jars because you know it's cute, it's trendy. Uh, but yeah, you can customize this with whatever you like. I'm gonna be using some tomatoes, some carrots, some bell peppers of all different colors. I wanna make my salad really macro and micro friendly. So I'm just putting a lot of greens in there. Um, I could have easily just bought a pack of carrots that was already shredded, but I chose to cut those up. These are also my favorite macro-friendly dressings. I'm gonna be using the Creamy Caesar today, so they have a yogurt base, so they're only about 25 to 45 calories per every two tablespoons. Um, I went a little crazy here, though. These mason jars are pretty big, so I noticed I put a lot of dressing, but 
you know, YOLO. So you always wanna start with your dressing or your liquid at the very bottom. If you're gonna do mason jar salad, there's like a whole uh, science to how you should layer everything in here just so everything stays well. I would eat these within two to three days if you can. Again, with dressing and salad, you don't want anything to get soggy. So I was just doing dressing, veggies, then I added some corn. I also drained out some garbanzo beans and some kidney beans, as you see here. Uh, black beans would also be good. You could add onions, olives. I was just finishing at the very top is where you want to put your lettuce and then I finished at the very very top with some spinach. That's another great way to just throw some micros in there and then when you're ready to go you just take these out of the fridge, shake them up and you're done. Like you literally can just take these on the go for work or for school. They're super super easy and they look really cute. And then the last meal prep meal here is going to be a one pot crock pot healthy soup situation. Literally all we're gonna do is dump all of our ingredients into the crock pot and let it cook for eight hours and we're done. Like talk about lazy. I was using some organic tomato soup, some frozen corn, also frozen potatoes, this little frozen vegetable mash from Trader Joe's, and then I believe that was it, and some spices. Literally all I did was turn on my crock pot. I ended up putting two packs of this tomato soup in there. I put one in, it just didn't seem like enough, so I had another tomato soup from Trader Joe's here in the cupboard, so I just threw that in there. I didn't add any water. I just basically did two full bags of tomato soup. Then I added this full bag of frozen veggies, stirred it up, then added about half a bag of frozen corn. Then I also added the frozen roasted potatoes. And literally that's all you do. We're going to just mix everything up and add some spices, and we're just gonna let it cook. So if you're busy or you have to go to school, oh, no, here I go, messing up again. Of course, we're gonna add black beans first. <laughs> so just add, literally add anything you want. Any veggies, any beans. I'm gonna uh, season with garlic powder, pink Himalayan salt, and then also this chicken seasoning, which even though it says chicken, it is obviously a veggie seasoning. It just, I guess, gives off that flavor. Uh, but my son really likes this as well. You just wanna mix up your seasonings, and we're literally just gonna put the lid on. I put it on high for eight hours. So if you're a busy mom, you're going to school, you got multiple kids, just let that cook all day long and you're done. Like that's it. It was about 9 p.m. here. That's why my lighting is a little dark, but I let it cook for eight hours. And then when it's done, all you're going to do is portion it out. So I decided to go with five portions based on the macros and then added some more seasoning here at the end and boom, you got your soup for a week. So flipping easy. 